Imagine for a moment that you're a dog. You hear your favorite sound, the jingling of a leash. How exciting, a walk. You happily leave the quiet house and step into a terrible urban symphony. Buses honking, motorcycles roaring, a traffic jam of honking cars. This is not a walk of joy and relaxation. Let's get out of here and pull on the leash back towards the house. At least there you can hear yourself bark in peace. For us humans, the constant commotion of the city might be annoying and yet harmless. But for our dogs, it's just another thing that makes them feel like a stranger in a strange land. Urban noise from honking cars, sirens, and construction can be truly unbearable and in some extreme cases, even harmful for dogs. Dogs have much sharper and more developed hearing capabilities than we do. To give you an idea, when it comes to frequencies, humans can typically hear sounds reaching up to 20,000 hertz, while dogs can hear sounds at frequencies as high as 65,000 hertz. This heightened sensitivity allows dogs to detect sounds that are simply inaudible to us, such as high frequency noises from electronic devices. Switching to sound volume now, at some frequencies, dogs can detect sounds at a level that's four times lower than what we can hear. So, noises that may seem harmless or simply annoying to us can feel like being in the front row of a heavy metal concert for dogs. So, if in response to a cacophony of noises, you notice that your dog is experiencing stress, hiding or trying to escape, trembling, panting, barking anxiously, or even behaving wildly, it might be that they're suffering from the noise pollution around them and around us all the time. Fortunately, you can help. Inside the house, you can create a safe space for your dog, such as a quiet, dark, and cozy room with a bed and a favorite toy to be their refuge during particularly loud moments. And outside the house, it might be the time for a lesson in gradual exposure. If, for example, your dog encounters a frightening or stressful noise and tries to run away, stay calm and stay in place. Your dog not only hears well, but they're also attentive to you. If you choose to continue the walk calmly and peacefully, eventually your dog will understand and learn that it's not so bad. Just make sure not to settle in the busiest spot in the city and overwhelm your dog. And if all that didn't help, there are vets and trainers who can help you find alternative solutions if needed. And while you can't walk around the city and silence frightening noises like an ambulance siren, you can definitely change how your dog feels when they hear them. Bring a treat on your walks, and every time a scary noise pops up, give your dog a small piece to chase that fear away. And maybe add a loving pat or three, because why not? Gradually, with patience and attention, all those noises will go in one furry ear and out the other. If you made it this far, we're betting this video was like catnip to you. Subscribe and click the bell icon so you won't miss any of our new videos and end up in the doghouse. Want to watch more? You're barking up the right tree. Just click these suggestions.